You cannot rely on motivation and you can't only do things that are good for you when you are motivated. You have to do things at times when you just simply don't want to do them. And when you realize this and start to do this, it's going to take you so far. I'm always talking about lifestyle changes and a healthy lifestyle and daily habits that like make me feel good and how I feel my best and working out and getting sleep at night, you know, all this stuff. But I never talk about like the root of how to get there. And that is by having self-discipline. I feel like being disciplined is really just such a big topic and we just need to talk about it. Like if you are not disciplined with yourself, like you're not going to get anywhere regardless of what your goal is. Like that's the root of how you make any changes and how you like get to where you want to be. I'm definitely the most disciplined I've ever been in terms of like healthy habits and treating my body well and taking care of myself. Obviously I have good and bad days, but I have grown to be so disciplined this past year and I feel like I didn't even realize it. You can come up. Come on. Not everybody knows how to start implementing self-discipline and start doing the small things day by day to get you to where you want to be. But I really think it all starts with mindset. I love the idea of being 1% better every day. Like I said, you're going to have bad days. That's fine. But progress means the world. Things take time, especially if you want a long-term sustainable goal and outcome. Like, it takes time. And so I think striving to be 1% better every day is really such a great thing. Big lasting changes don't just take like one day to change your entire life around and then you're golden. Like if it were that easy, everyone would be doing it. I truly think also you kind of have to just act like you have it. The whole fake it till you make it concept is so real and just kind of pretending that you have it gets you further than you think. If you're pretending you're already there, I mean, you're going to do habits that that person would do and that is what's going to get you there. It really comes down to the little things that you do day by day. For example, if you want to be that person that wakes up at 6 a.m. and goes for a workout and eats healthy, well, what do they do? They probably go to bed early, right? Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, baby. They probably cook good meals for themselves. And if you start doing those like this person you're envisioning, like you are creating that life and you are going to turn out to be that person. He <laughs> wants my smoothie so bad. It's literally strawberries and banana and protein, but like I'm not sharing. <laughs> I really also think it's about romanticizing the process as well. You know, big goals take a long time, like I said, but it's only right. Like they should take a long time. And if they don't, they're not going to last. They're not sustainable. Okay. I could talk about that forever, but if you romanticize the journey, it's going to be so much better. For example, if you want to get into working out, right? Wear a cute workout set. That makes a world of a difference. Find workouts you like. Do things that you enjoy so that every day when it comes to workout time, you're like, okay, I actually think I want to do this. And you're going to have to do it when you don't want to do it sometimes, right? That's just a part of it. But by making little steps to kind of just enhance the whole journey, like you're going to go so much further and you're going to enjoy it and you won't dread and the game is going to be long term. Like you're less likely to give up if you enjoy part of it. You don't have to enjoy every single minute. You're not going to. That's just the reality of it. But by romanticizing the little things, it can make the world of a difference day by day. And then in the end, that's part of the reason I love the 12 to 30 so much. Not only because it's a workout I enjoy, but I always watch something I enjoy during it. And it's like romanticizing that me time that, okay, I'm working out, but also I'm consuming some content that I wanted to watch anyway. And that I love it's making the workout better. It's also like the association game, right? Like for example, when I got my puppy, we wanted to crate train him, right? But he hated the crate in order to get him to like the crate. We fed him in there. We gave him treats. We played with him in there, right? Romanticizing things and associating positive things with things that you you have to do essentially is only going to make the process better. I also think along with mindset, self-talk is so huge. You are your biggest critic. It's hard to be so positive about yourself, you know, and imposter syndrome is such a real thing. But I think if you are able to have a good mindset and really change the way that you view yourself and talk to yourself and about yourself, like within your own brain, I think that is such a powerful thing. And this is something that I struggle with a lot and I am still working on the most probably out of most of these things. Self-talk like it's way harder said than done. Everything I'm talking about today is way harder said than done, but I think that is crucial. I got back from a trip recently and sometimes I'm so quick and good to just like jump back in routine, but I have not been wanting to. I've had a great start to my day and I'm forcing myself to put on a little workout set so that I can take my dog for a walk and then immediately after I can go work out because I need to, right? Like I don't feel motivated, but it's, it's like, it doesn't matter. Like this is part of my lifestyle, so I need to do it. And I know that if I put on workout clothes, I am more likely to want to do it. And I'm kind of like easing myself back in, right? I'm romanticizing it, okay? Like, even if I don't feel like going for a walk right now, I'm going to put on a cute set. I'm going to put on a good podcast, take my dog for a walk. And that's just like the warm up, right? Take my dog for a walk, you like get in the right mindset, and then I'll get home. And I'll just like immediately go into the workout. Romanticizing it. Like, I write it, I love my walks. Even though I don't feel like it right now, it's like, okay. 
I just gotta hop into it and like be disciplined and just do it. It's the little things. I skip the walk, you know, it's bad for both my dog and I, and he'll be going crazy later if he doesn't get exercise. Then I'm probably less likely to get into the workout and then like, it spirals. You know, I'm still in my pajamas. Like I just need to get out of these and like make some moves here. Can we also talk about how it's such a domino effect too though in like all other areas because if I'm doing these things to keep my like health and well-being and stuff in order, I'm so much more likely to pour good energy into my work, my relationships, like all of that. You know, it's just, uh, it radiates. Clearly I'm a big believer in mindset. You know, like mindset is everything. However, you have to like take your mindset and act on it. You can't only think things. Like you have to think things and then create habits and systems to reach your goal. You know, like that book that's really big about systems and goals. Um, I should know the title of it, but I'll put it on the screen. I can't remember. Like I was saying, if you want to wake up early, okay, well, think that you can do it. Think you're that person that wakes up at five in the morning. But also part of the things you have to do on the day to day to be able to do that is like go to bed early, right? It's just one prime example. And then once you do it over and over, the little things like day by day, and it becomes a habit, it's less of a struggle. It's just something that you automatically do. Like you just do it without question. You just go about your day. It's like, oh, it's six o'clock. Oh, it's time to work out. And then you just do it. You don't have to like consistently talk yourself into trying to motivate yourself and talk yourself up to like working out it's just part of your lifestyle and that's kind of like what I'm getting at right now like that's how I directly relate to it I'm like okay like I just do this like I don't have to wait for myself to be like oh I'm in the best mood ever and I want to work out so bad and I blah, 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 whatever like no like this is just what I do so I'm just gonna do it regardless of how I feel sometimes you have to detach from the emotion part of it which is not easy but a good exercise is like taking your goals okay I want to wake up early and then brainstorm like okay what is actually feasible for me to prepare my myself to make that happen for me. Oh, I want to work out every day. Okay, well you need to find out what workouts you like and you need to start implementing a routine. You know, you have to break it down from the master goal to what can I do to get there? But you do have to be in a good place mentally to believe that one, you can do it, and two, you're like deserving. You know, the whole imposter syndrome thing is so real. I'm talking in a very intense mindset, you know, like in the end, it really is all up to you. However, there are gonna be things that are out of your control, and the hardest part is trying to accept those, but that's part of the process. You kind of have to accept what's out of your control. Time isn't always on your side. Like, you will make mistakes, it's inevitable, but it matters that you continuously show up. Showing up for yourself is how you're gonna make things happen. Nobody else though, like it has to be for yourself. You know, there might be setbacks and things that you can't control and you didn't cause, but this is gonna sound so cheesy. You just have to keep going and keep believing in yourself because if you want something for yourself, you are the only one that can do it. But that dog walk was very um, wet, if you couldn't tell. Now though, we are officially ready to start the 12 3 30 my therapy. I love having liquid IV at some point post workout and chia seeds are so good for you So this is how I've been drinking them lately today's flavor is watermelon But really if you think about it, I feel like discipline is the best form of self-care, right? You should be taking care of yourself just like you would take care of a loved one You'd probably give them grade A treatment, right? You should be doing that for yourself and caring for yourself includes doing things that you need to do Even when you don't feel like doing them you should have high standards for yourself, but also be self-aware you know, don't set outrageous goals that you know you're not gonna accomplish. Or a timeline, like if you will wanna lose weight for an example, it's just such an easy example to talk about. Don't think you're gonna lose 10 pounds in a week, right? Like it's just not a good goal, it's just not. But with self-awareness, like you do need to make sure you're challenging yourself. Like my favorite form of exercise is walking, but I do make it so it's hard for me, it's challenging. I know I'm getting a workout in. I'm not just walking at a speed of one mile per hour and calling it a workout. But in the end, consistency and showing up for yourself is so much better than intensity. You don't need to be hitting a PR every single day, but you do need to be consistent and be showing up and practicing and making progress. Like I mentioned in the very beginning, 1% better every day. It really is the little things that count in the long run. With this self-awareness, I've noticed that I'm pretty good lately about catching myself make excuses for why I don't want to do something, and I feel like that is a good skill to have. If you find yourself being like, oh, I can't do this for like whatever reason, and you're like, okay, that's like the stupidest reason ever, like you just don't want to do it. Like you realizing that and waking up and like then changing your perspective and making yourself do it like that is 
courageous. That is smart. That is a great skill and that will take you far. I am not perfect, but all of these skills I have been getting better at and I think they are very important and good to work on. And although I love 1% Better every day, if you can find a way to be your own inspiration, I think that is incredible. Finding someone else to look up to is amazing. If you love what someone else has done, what they've accomplished, the words they speak, looking up to them is so good. But if I want to feel a certain way, look a certain way, whatever, and I know that I've been able to do it in the past, clearly I can do it again. I feel like realizing that makes it so much more attainable in my head and motivates me so much more. It makes me realize like, oh, I, like I can do that. I've done it before like I can do that You know everyone falls off track a little bit like that's okay It's gonna happen But if you can be your own inspiration and know that you are amazing and you are incredible and you can do it I think it's just so cool and it's just a different approach Yes, you should look up to people that are amazing, but also like think about it. Can you be your own inspiration? Right? I love that. Some of my best advice. So basically, you're not gonna be motivated every single minute of every single day, right? Sometimes you're gonna have to do things that you don't feel like doing, you don't wanna do, you're not necessarily motivated to do, but with consistency, building up those daily habits, practice, you're gonna be able to just naturally do them on a day-to-day -day basis. But off of that, I do think several different things should motivate you. Say the example of like, okay, you wanna lose weight, right? Okay, why though? I want to feel a certain way. I want to look a certain way, which there's nothing wrong with that. I want to be able to run a mile without walking. Like I want to be able to do certain things. Okay, those are different things that do motivate you towards that goal. It's not like there's only one single thing that is allowed to motivate you, you know? Motivation should come from different roots of things. Maybe they even include other people in your life. And then once you do start making progress, I do believe that the feeling does keep you going. That then starts to be another form of motivation. For me, I know that was a huge, huge thing. Once I started feeling better, I was like, you know what, I love what I'm doing here. Like, I can't stop. It then became kind of like addicting almost and not a drag. And yeah, there's times I didn't feel motivated, but I was just so used to doing specific things every day. I just kept up with it. And I still do keep up with it. Like I know it makes me feel good on the day to day. I'm gonna keep doing it. But that just shows how big of a role consistency is. Scaling back from big picture though, what I wanna leave you with, real action steps to take. Each morning, start out and think, okay, what can I do today? What is gonna be my 1% better today? Day by day, variable by variable, goal by goal, right? If you wanna wake up at 6 a.m., but right now you're at that 7.30, okay, maybe tomorrow you can wake up at 7.25. That is progress, that's 1% better every day. What can you do today in this moment, one task you can assign yourself to be 1% better. The other thing I wanna say is that my video, and there's so many others that's like, okay, how can I get motivated? How can I be productive? How can I like lose weight, for example, again? How can I reach this goal, whatever? And people can give you all this great advice, right? But you have to take the advice and you have to implement it, okay? If I'm speaking a piece of advice that you really like, I want you to literally write out, okay, how can I exactly step-by-step step, implement this into my life? The three big things I think is, you know, you do have this overarching goal. You have to have steps in order to get there. You have to have a step-by-step -step plan. It's hard to create. It's hard to know, like, if I do this, I'm gonna reach this goal. Like, it's not, it's not easy. But working backwards might kinda help you. Brainstorm, kinda make a plan out of it, right? But with those things, you do have to have a good mindset. Mindset is everything. Mindset, steps, goal. You can do it. I love you. Wishing you the best of luck. I am always rooting for you. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one.